So I am gonna check my blood sugar with my meter to see what my Dexcom is reading. It was 136 about four minutes ago on my Dexcom. And I named my meter Karen because she gives me lots of unwanted advice. Did you know that sardines are high in healthy omega-3s? No, but I'm not gonna try them anyways. 144, so it was pretty close. All right, uh, I'm gonna be changing my Dexcom sensor and this is the second time I've been using it. My husband put on the first one because I was very scared to do it. So I will be doing it for myself for the first time. And I thought I would bring y'all along. Currently, I have it right here. And I'm gonna be putting it over here, probably. I need to get set up. So here is what comes in the Dexcom box. You have three of these sensors that you change every 10 days. And then you get your transmitters that stay on for three months. And I didn't know if you were going to need this box again, and so I kept it, but you don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away, but that's where the transmitter was. And so now I'm about to put this on, and first you have to put it in the app and tell it which one you are using before you can start your sensor. And so now we're about to put it on, and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I didn't breathe that entire time. <laughs> but it's really cool. The needle doesn't stay. It's just a little cannula. I don't know if you can see it. So there we go. It's off. And now we have to take the transmitter out. So it said you break it this way. Ew. this one on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here. Okay, we're gonna let that dry, but look, this is where I did my shot last night. There's a big old bruise. It hurts. <sighs> okay, now it's said to clean your transmitter. So we're gonna peel this off. Okay, there's the sticky part. Oh, I'm nervous. Back up where you can see my face. said to clip this off. Okay, we're ready to go. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, the noise was what made me jump and it didn't actually hurt. <laughs> Okay, so I jumped a little bit, but the applicator thing is really loud and it didn't hurt at all. So my first one did hurt, but I think it was too high up and I was even more nervous because that was the first time ever doing it. So thumbs up for it not hurting. <laughs> all right.
and we're in. Okay, I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see it in there. Right there is the needle. And it's really fast and it did not hurt that time. It's just super loud. So, this is the second Dexcom sensor that I have used. And before that, I had used Freestyle Libre, and I am going to do reviews on both. But sneak peek, Dexcom wins by a lot. I will be getting the T Slim insulin pump put on soon, and they are compatible. And I'm just super excited to get all the other equipment finally done where I do not have to do shots anymore. So stay tuned for all my of that. Two hour warm up is over and I just did my first calibration and my blood sugar was 99 and now I have to wait a little while to do the next one and I guess I slept through this the first time I put it on because I didn't do this last time and it just started working overnight so I don't know I did end up calibrating it later because it was off and then after I calibrated it the first time it worked just fine so now I'm doing it at the beginning. We'll see. <laughs> I have recalibrated it two times, I think, now, and it keeps saying there was an error, and I don't know if that's normal, because like I said last time, I, I put the sensor on and then went to bed because it was really late, and that's not a good idea because your sensor needs to be working before you go to bed, but I was too excited for it when it was shipped to my house and it was really late. So we are learning as we go along and I will hop back on here after I can do another calibration. But I wanted to show the bag I got off Amazon for all my diabetic supplies. So it has a spot here for all your alcohol swabs and stickers. And here is a sticker for my Freestyle Libre that I don't use anymore but it's really cute. And then all my Lancets and my insulin pins and test strips. And I use this one for trash. And then I have all of my needles in here and my meter in this other little pocket. So this was my birthday gift to myself this year. But hopefully I am not on shots much longer because I will be putting on my insulin pump next week. Fingers crossed. And now I am still waiting for my sensor to calibrate. But I wanted to apologize for the quality of this video because I am doing it all on my phone because my computer is not working currently. And I wanted to go ahead and film it because it would have been the first time I put the Dexcom on by myself. And so I wanted an authentic reaction to that. And I'm newly diagnosed just a few months ago. And the thing that helped me the most was watching YouTube videos of people when they were first diagnosed and talking about when they were first diagnosed. And when I was getting all my new supplies in, watching other people put on the sensors and talk about it, it was just really helpful because Type 1 diabetes is super isolating and I think I only know three people personally that have it and it's not anyone that's directly involved in my life so I didn't have anyone to talk to and I just went to YouTube and so I wanted to make this video for anyone looking for it. Turns out it was a sensor failure and I will be calling Dexcom and they are supposed to be sending me a whole brand new one to replace the one that failed. I did end up putting on a second one and that one worked just fine. Thanks for watching and I will do a whole separate video on that later. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.